Today we're making a beautiful Easter cross wreath. Keep watching. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Welcome. All right, we're going to start off with this cross. Now, I got mine thrifted, but you can definitely get the wire ones at Dollar Tree. But I'm going to show you how to do it if you have this kind. So it's about a 20 by 12. Then I'm going to take some burlap, just plain burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. And we're going to wrap around all of this stuff. So this is pretty easy to do, but you're going to have to protect your fingers for sure because you're going to be using some hot glue and some sketchy little areas. So I'm just going to take the corner right here in the bottom and we're going to start on the bottom part of the cross. So I'm taking my hot glue, touching the wire and also putting it down on the burlap. Then I'm going to wrap halfway over the bottom and fold it under. You can see that I'm kind of folding it or cupping it under just like this and then in order to save and preserve the amount of ribbon we're using I want you to be very careful and just try to overlap where the wired parts are so that you don't have a bunch of extra ribbon being wasted by wrapping it around and around and around and overlapping it like crazy so you can see here I'm just pretty much trying to wrap it tack it down with a little bit of glue and just stretch that ribbon as long as as far as it will go because I realize some people are not being able to get out right now. It's winter time, maybe you're snowed in. Let's get out some of those things that maybe you had at fall and go ahead and use those. Use up that stash that I know all of us crafters have. So you're just gonna continue around like this, overlapping just, just you know, over the little wired area, just enough so that you cover up your frame like this. Now let's talk about some goals here. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that my goals are 15,000 subscribers by August the 1st. Some people don't understand why this is important to me, but if you watch my channel and you're already subscribed, you probably already know why. I want to be able to show people that you can have a beautiful home without having to pay a fortune to make the pieces that you put in there, and you'll make them look exactly how you like them, uniquely to your own taste. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video, I would love to have you as part of my family. It's easy to do and free. So you can see how I finished off the back and I'm gonna go around on the arms and leave the inside open. So the same process as before, I'm gonna choose a corner, doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna put a little glue on the frame and a little glue on the burlap. I'm gonna cup it under and then I'm gonna fold it around. Now don't be concerned about what we're gonna do with the edges because I'm gonna show you a way to make those nice and neat and you won't see any of your hardware underneath. So just go ahead and continue around, very easy. And then when you get to the back, cut it off and be, be careful and make sure that you're putting all your glued loose ends in the back. You don't want that on the front. I want to tell you about my good friends who are doing a thrift flip road trip open challenge. It's hosted by Our Green Acres and Crafting Cousins. I'm part of it and I hope you will be too. All right, so I'm going in here in the edges, just tacking it down with some glue. I'm going to roll it under so that it's close to the frame, nice and neat. You can see what we're doing here and I'm just going to take that hot glue and kind of sandwich those pieces together. I folded it under, got a nice clean edge, and now I'm just using my protected fingertips to pinch this closed. It's gonna keep that burlap ribbon from slipping off and it's gonna make it nice and neat. Now, to be honest, you can see here, it takes a little more of your ribbon when you're doing the shorter arms in the top than it does on the bottom. And that's just because you don't have a lot of room to work there. But still, I didn't even use a whole spool to do this, so that's pretty good, right? All right, now I'm just gonna continue around like this. Again, this is easy to tuck down. You got the little edge where we folded it under. We're gonna press it down into the inside and roll the edges and push them together. You can do this, right? Protect those fingers though. Be sure you get some finger protectors. You can get them at Dollar Tree, so they are $1.25. Uh, the dollar and quarter tree and they're real easy to use you just slip them on your finger they're stretchy so they fit most fingers 
All right, same process. We're gonna wrap this around and around and around. Now, I slow this down because I want you to see that at the top, I have a little hook area here, and you might not have this, but if you do, just work around it. That's what I'm doing. I'm rolling it under, tucking it in. It's being stubborn. Use your glue where you need it. And then continue around. Now, if you're gonna make a hanger for this, it would be great to put your hanger underneath before you wrap it with the ribbon so that it'll be concealed and it'll look nice and neat and high-end looking and finished. Y'all excuse my hair. I keep getting my head in the way. So you can see here what I've done. And I'm going to continue around, just making sure that that is stuck down in there. If you just have a wire wreath from Dollar Tree, you don't have to worry about all this little, uh, those little stick areas or the little, I don't know, vine areas that are poking through. But um, yeah, you get the you get the idea though. So we're going to press that down and make it nice and neat. I want the back to be neat looking too and finished. So I want to make sure that all my edges are nice and trimmed down. Now, so far, this is what we have. This is the base that we have created. We've left the center open because this is where we're gonna do our arranging. Now, go and pick out whatever flowers you like. I know a lot of times you can find beautiful deep reds and purples in the fall, so you may have some of that in your stash. I have these picks from last year that were thrifted. Also, the white branches, I've had those from last year. I've actually used them in a different wreath. But if you wanna use fall, here is an example of one that I thrifted from fall. You can just take off the leaves that are fall specific and add on different leaves. You've seen me do that in other videos. That's so easy to do. Then you're gonna want some type of a flyaway here. You can get that kind of stuff at Dollar Tree as well, or it may be in your stash already. I chose purple for my flowers because of, you know, it being a Christian holiday. So you do yours however you would like. Now you can just take those branches, like I know Dollar Tree has branches that you can get sometimes. I know they have pussy willow. I know they have dogwood I've seen in some people's hauls. Um, so you could use something like that if you would like. I love that this looks like dogwood to me. Um, so I'm gonna use it. I'm just crossing them end over end like I'm making a swag that's gonna go at a diagonal. My idea is like you see in, um, like outside of some churches, they'll have like a big cross and then they'll have the purple sash across and uh, so I wanted to use the purple flowers for that and then the sideways swag would be representative of the sash so that's what I'm doing here I hope y'all like this I have never done to my knowledge to my memory I have never done a cross wreath so I hope this is something that y'all like. And if you don't, you know, and this is not your thing, then you can certainly use the technique on other wreaths. So you don't have to worry about that part of it. Just go ahead and just take the inspiration from it. Maybe you just like the way you needed some information on how to wrap a wreath with burlap, then you got it here. If you needed to know how to make a swag, you got that here too. So I'm just making little pins. I'm using the pins to stick through, twist them on the back, and secure these branches down where I need them. You can do it wherever you feel like the heavy spots are or where it needs a little something extra to hold it down and keep it from, you know, flopping around and coming away from your frame. This is actually gonna be sort of a low profile wreath. It's not gonna be a whole lot sticking out. We're not gonna do a bow for it, but you certainly can. So you could actually probably do this on most screen doors. You know, if you have a storm door outside and you could actually put this on your door and it would fit without being crushed. So I'm gonna continue around just like this, twist it, and then I'm gonna take my clippers and cut through each of those wires and press it back down into the frame. You don't want this scratching your door. And certainly if you wanna go ahead and cover this up with a little extra ribbon or something, you can. Y'all need to join us in our community tab for giveaways and fun. We're doing weekly giveaways. I'm learning all about my subscribers and we are having a blast over there. All right, so just continuing around. You know I do this with my arranging. I just move things until it looks exactly like I want it to look and it gives me the feel that I like. So now I'm gonna start with these beautiful deep purple hydrangeas. I'm gonna cut the stems off because we don't need all of that in there. It's just making it too hard on us. Follow me on my social media, I'd love to see you there. All right, so I'm gonna take one and put it kind of in the corner on the left, 
So if you look at that little section there that's open as a box, this is in the left corner, upper, and this is in the right lower corner. And I'm just gonna push them together. And the reason I'm doing this is because I kinda want it to look like one big flower. And I think it, since they're the same color, it does kind of have that effect. Now I'm gonna take my branch here with my little berries and just cut that down. I'm gonna cut it apart because I only have one and I wanna be able to spread this out over this swag. And in this way, I can do it. So I'm just gonna press this up into here. Now, if you can get in there around the branches, you don't even have to use any hot glue in this area. Just press it up in there and you can also use the overlapping parts of your burlap to hold in your florals. So I'm just trimming off the little extra stuff there and putting it down in the same way that I would if I was making a swag. I'm doing it on the top corner and I'm doing it on the bottom corner. Or if you do it on the left, do it on the right. You know that sort of thing. That's the way I want this wreath to look. And see, look at that. I pushed those closer together and just immediately made it look like one big flower. That's so much better. But that's why you wanna look at it from all angles and above it and beside it and to the left, to the right, um, to make sure that it looks exactly how you want it to look, to look like you designed this with intention in mind. And so I noticed here where it overlaps that there is a gap and I do not like that. So I'm gonna fix that by simply pulling out some flowers that are kind of extra, that are kind of, you know, you won't be missed in that area. And I'm gonna place them down right here on the branch and I'm not putting them straight up. I'm doing them kind of to the side and facing to the side like the rest of the flowers so that they fit in. So this is what I'm doing at this point, taking it, looking at it from all different directions to see what I need. And I feel like I need more flyaways. So I found these beautiful picks. They were in my little stash that I have with a bunch of extras that I cut off of other things. And I'm so glad that I picked it up because the colors look beautiful with this. They just are perfect. So because these are on just plastic, I'm just pulling these apart in little sets of twos and threes. But if you have wire in yours, just cut them with your little wire cutters there. I've got some little cutters right there that I got from the thrift store. And then see how I just press that one up into the, the frame here. It's into the ribbon and right into the frame and it stays right where it needs to be. If you're in a place that gets a lot of wind and it's not protected though, you know, you might want to do a little extra um, gluing. And certainly if you're going to sell this, you would want to glue this in place. But for my purposes of teaching you and inspiring you, I am just going to get this project done and tell you how to do it the right way. How about that? Okay, so we have some down on the left side. Uh, on the left top and then we have the ones that we place down on the right if you're looking at it on the right so when you have a pick that doesn't have a long enough stem just grab a piece of plastic a stem another piece of floral stick whatever you have and just wrap it up add to it and that's what i'm doing right here i know i need a little more height so i'm taking my floral tape which by the way if you don't know is waxed you have to pull on it to make it stick. It's not sticky like regular tape. You pull and twist and that's how it sticks. It releases the wax and it will stick to your project. So now that's perfect. That gets it right up where I like it. Simple little, simple little hack there. And this is our final project. You can definitely put a bow on here if you'd like, but I like mine simple and rustic as it is. So this is what it looks like when it is hanging. I believe in you. I really do. I know that you can do this. This is an easy project. And if you enjoyed it, I would love a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel. Look how pretty that looks. The purples, the whites, the greens. It's just perfect for Easter. I just really love it. And speaking of that, I really love my subscribers. I appreciate each and one of you, each and every one of you for all that you do, your comments, your cooperation and our activities. You mean so much. And I would love for you to subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel already. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you again soon. Bye.